Hey everyone, Ben here with 9to5Google and today we're going to be showing you how to install Android apps on any Chromebook. So if you, as you probably heard, uh, Android apps are coming to Chrome OS, but so far they're only available on three different Chromebook models. And that is the Asus uh, Flip, the Acer R11, and the Chromebook Pixel 2. Here I have a Dell Chromebook 13, and it is not currently supported for Android apps, but I have found the method through a few users on Google Plus on how to install um, Android apps on any Chromebook. It works on the Chromebook 13, it's confirmed to work on at least four other models, and it should work for any Chromebook that will eventually be supported for Android apps. Now, of course, you do this at your own risk. I'm not going to talk through the entire tutorial. Um, basically, just use this as a visual guide, and I urge you to go to the written tutorial, which is on 9to5google.com and linked below uh, for more information. But we'll go ahead and get started. The first step is to go into developer mode, and to do that, you want to hit escape, refresh, and power. The screen will immediately go black, and things will turn back on after that. So once you get to this screen, you're going to want to hit Control and D. You're going to want to read this message which says to turn off verification, OS verification, press enter. And we want to do that, so we're going to press enter. And from here, we're going to hit Control D again. And then we're going to go into um, switching to developer mode. This usually takes about 10 minutes, so I'm going to press pause, let this finish up, and then we'll come back after that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is switch to the Canary channel. Now, I can't stress this enough. For one, this video should only be used for a visual representation. You should use the written tutorial on 9to5google.com to see the specific information. Now, when you're switching to the Canary channel, you're going to want to do Control, Alt, and T, and that will open up a command window. Now, before we actually move into the Canary channel, please note this is a, an experimental channel. Things are going to be very unstable, so you're going to want to be careful, and you may need to move back if you need your device to be more stable. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is start a command prompt, and that is done by typing in this command, and after that, we're going to obtain super user. Now once you've gotten to this screen, you're going to have to wait just a little while for the update to download and install. You'll see a message that says to reboot once this is completed. So wait for that message and then you're going to turn off the computer and turn it back on and then you'll be on the Canary channel. Okay, so now that the machine has rebooted, if we go into our settings menu and go to about Chrome OS, you'll now notice that we have the Canary icon and because we are in the Canary mode. So now we can go ahead and make the switch to Android apps. Now the first thing you want to do is to open up another command prompt by hitting Control, Alt, and T. Once you've done that, start typing in the commands listed on 9to5google.com. Now that we've completed all these commands and the Chromebook has rebooted again, we're going to log back in. And immediately after logging in, you should now notice that you have the Play Store icon on the bottom of your screen. So once you open that, the Play Store will initiate on your Chromebook. Again, this may not work for all Chromebooks, but it should work for the majority of Chromebooks that will have future Android app support. Now, if, again, if you don't know which Chromebook you have, or if it will be supported, 
go to 9to5google.com. We have a list of Chromebooks that will eventually have Android apps, and we also have a list of models that are 100% confirmed to have this functionality. But once everything has been installed, you should be good to go. Um, Android apps should work with no problems at all. You'll be able to see apps that you already have installed, um, and you can install more if you would like to. So it's a it's a relatively easy tutorial, but please keep in mind that the Canary channel is very unstable. Certain parts of the OS, like if I click on my notifications here, I know for a fact the Chromebook will crash. Um, for certain Chromebooks, this will work in the developer channel, presumably because they will be getting Android app support soon. But again, do this at your own risk. All the instructions are on 9to5google.com. And if you do decide to go back from um, the Canary channel, we also have a quick tutorial on how to switch back. Um, it requires a little bit more code, um, but you can uh, find all that information on 9to5google.com. So as always, a huge thank you for watching this video. If you have questions, leave them linked, uh, listed in the comments below. Uh, we'll try to answer any of the simple que questions that we can. Um, again, I can't urge you enough. Please follow the instructions on 9to5google.com. And thank you for watching.